people, welcome to the vlog. Um, it is Monday. I had a four day weekend because it was Thanksgiving in the US so I took some time off as well. Uh, and I didn't get nearly as much as I wanted to done over the weekend. Very disappointing. Um, and I feel like I'm sort of, because of that, coming into Monday, feeling already behind. So we've got to try and turn that around because that is not an attitude that I want to have going into the week. Um, there's a few things I want to show you before I get into today though. Number one. I changed my office around. I don't know if you can tell or if you remember what it was like before. But yeah, basically I moved my desk from sort of like here-ish to over here. So I have like a little command center area is what Mark has been calling it. Um, I got some new plants that I potted over the weekend. Check out this beautiful new leaf that opened on a Monstera. Some other ones here. Um, yeah, that's not a good sign. We got a dead leaf already. We'll probably need to cut that out. <laughs> But yeah, this is what the office is looking like. There's still stuff to sort out. Um, we had a rainstorm over the weekend. I was actually meant to be like recording video interview on Friday and we had this wind howling around outside and the rain and then there was hail. It was very weird and, and also kind of annoying. Not something that you plan for happening in Spain when you're booking a recording day. Um, but unfortunately, we had water like coming in through the window here. It was like running down here, running down here, running down here. And now the wall, I'm like, you know, we're worried about it. It's, um, I think you can see there's a little like wet patch. So we've got a heater on it drying. We've had to move everything out from the wall um, where it was touching before. So yeah, that definitely put like a, well, we're really bright over there. <laughs> put a spanner in the works of plans over the weekend, um, spending time sorting that out I guess very frustrating but I mean I don't know what can you do I'm determined like I said to turn today around and, and have it be a good one have it be a productive one because there's a lot I need to do last week was a short week I only worked three days and I fit a lot of work in um, and so I think I'm still tired from that honestly but yeah there's a lot more to do still a lot to do today catch up on stuff and um, just sort of like get ahead for the week as well but before I do all that, I took like a week off doing workouts because I tweaked my back the past weekend and basically just used that as an excuse the whole week to not do anything. And so I like, I feel like I don't have much time, but I'm just gonna quickly put on a bar three video and do a little bit at least to get the blood pumping and, and try and kick off that healthy habit again for this week. Let's go. All right, you have to excuse the noise because I've got all of the windows and the doors open at the moment, letting fresh air and sunshine into my office. Look at that beautiful light coming on my art behind me. <laughs> First thing that I have actually coming up today at 11 is an interview with Chris Pearson, who works on the design systems team, or leads the design systems team at Condé Nast. I'm doing a series with Figma over on their YouTube channel where I'm talking to designers and getting a peek inside their design systems. Um, which is gonna be super fun. We were meant to film this interview on Friday, but because of the storm that I was talking about before, it was so loud, um, I had to reschedule and I felt so bad because I'd already rescheduled on it once before. <sighs> but we tried to make it work and it just, it was, yeah, gonna be a very poor quality video. So today, apart from that truck outside, <laughs> we're sounding good. The weather is nice and bright, so I think the video is gonna look good. Um, so I need to get, like, start getting ready for that soonish. But first, I obviously wanna kick off some work things. Um, today, I've got a lot of writing to do, honestly. Um, well, some writing and some design. So I, I owe our team an update on this brand campaign that I've been sort of leading for the past few months. We are working with an agency on it and we're producing these like brand ad videos, uh, which we've, it's not something we've done before. It's brand new for ConvertKit. So it's really exciting to be working on it. There's two videos and both drafts are like looking really good. We just have like small nitpicky details basically for each of them. Um, so I want to share them with the wider team to like show them what's coming. Um, so I need to write an update on that, write a project brief plan on, um, something we're going to do as a brand team for Q1. It'll be the first full project that I lead really as the creative director. So that's exciting. 
Um, and then I also need to do some design work. So we're going to have a mixed, mixed bag today of, of stuff. Um, but I'm going to start my morning out with some like writing and updates. I feel like that'll feel good to be getting that organized. Um, yeah, let's get into it. with my hair and face and ready to film um, I got this new microphone in a Black Friday sale I'm very excited about it don't fully know how to get the best like from it yet um, I've had a few recommendations of like a thing I need to add to raise the gain on it but yeah I don't know it is a sure SM7B it is beautiful and hopefully it's gonna sound beautiful too but um, yeah what an upgrade I've been using my Blue Yeti for five years, something like that, for a recording podcasts. And now that I'm streaming and just like, you know, in general on calls a lot more, um, I thought I'd upgrade. I also recently um, added this camera as well to my setup. So yeah, now I use this little Logitech stream cam for my video instead of the one on my iMac. It's working out well, just in general, upgrading the setup all round. Um, I'm going to do an updated office tour. I think I said that already at the start of the video. But yeah, going into detail about all of the, the tech setup as well as the, you know, office um, setting and everything like that. Yeah, I think I'm all ready to film. I'm just sort of going over my questions that I'm going to be asking Chris on this call. Um, whenever I'm interviewing someone, I know, especially someone who like is not a fellow content creator, podcaster or whatever, um, it's always my job to make sure that my interviewee feels comfortable, feels proud of the like the job they did um, answering questions and feels prepared. So yeah, Chris and I had a call um, last week, I think it was, maybe the week before, uh, to, to just sort of for me to meet him and, and go over the design system to figure out what would be the best points to focus on. So yeah, we've got some questions here that we're going to go into um, and I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be good. That went really well, I think. Um, the Figma team said they wanted it to end up being a 10 minute video and we recorded for like 25 minutes. So I don't know if they're gonna have trouble editing that down or not, but hey, I think it was all good stuff. And so, you know, whatever. And I think this new microphone is sounding pretty amazing. I'm very excited about it. I've had people recommend to me that I need to get something called a cloud lifter to make it even better. Cause what I have doing, um, this is a microphone that you can't just like plug straight into your computer with USB. So I have it going to this, um, I think it's called an audio interface. I don't know. Can you tell? I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, people have said that if I get a preamp as well as this, it'll be better. So I don't know. I need to look into that. Anyway, now that's out the way I can get into my writing for the day. And I think I'm going to go and make another coffee before I do so because I've been trying not to drink coffee after noon and it's 11.45, so I'm like, oh, I can sneak one another one in for the day, which I'm sure defeats the purpose of having this noon cutoff time, but hey. <laughs> Forwarded to Thursday. Yes, it is Thursday. Um, it's been a busy, busy freaking week. Monday ended up getting really hectic, and so I didn't get to like really finish the vlog. So I thought I might as well keep it going a little bit today. 
we just had some people come over to the flat to look at the water damage that we had during the storm last week um and now i'm getting like back into some stuff for the day today on my list is a little bit of like campaign planning organization stuff that, but also some design stuff i really want to like spend some quality hours today on uh the design of this page that i really want to get finished because there's other like design projects i want to move on to so you know what maybe we should get into that right now um i just had my spotify wrapped <laughs> happened yesterday and so i've got a great playlist of my top songs from 2020 if you want a, a sneak peek at them one sec i will show you if the screen will work here's what we got we've got some into shikari we've got some spanish songs i've been listening to um some smaller pop punk bands all time low falling in reverse Stand Atlantic, Dance Gavin Dance. This is a good playlist. I'm like, I look at this and I'm like, man, I've got great music taste. <laughs> Definitely wouldn't be to everyone's taste. Yeah, we've got some black pink in there too. A nice mix. So I'm going to put that on and get in to some design stuff. I think that I can set an aim today to get the page sort of like ready for development. Um, we're still waiting on a bit of content, but I think we can be ready to build out the template today if I focus and get down to it, so let's freaking get down to it. <laughs> I decided it was another poke bowl for lunch kind of Thursday <laughs> well I ate my poke bowl before I could you know get some nice b-roll footage of it but anyway now I'm back at work had one meeting and I just want to show you the design that I worked on today I think it's pretty close to finished and so that feels good to have gotten this done and I want to show you what I've worked on so it's this page here that I might have shown some other parts of I can't remember it's a page that talks about Talk, speaks directly to musicians and tells them how ConvertKit can help them. And we're trying some new things with it, trying some like hand-drawn stuff like you see here surrounding the landing page and this like, I don't know, offset line here, drawing on the photo, some like, I don't know, annotation type stuff, which I'm actually using my own font, Grayscale for. Ding, we'll put in a little <laughs> image of my font here. When I was sharing it with the team, this was the previous version here. This is what I had, so I was just sort of putting like italic text and Nathan was like, mm, I feel like this needs to be like handwritten all caps. And so I started like writing it and I was like, oh, we could use it as a vector. And then I was like, wait, didn't I like just design a font <laughs> for pretty much exactly this reason? Um, so we put it in and I think it works. I think I'm gonna do a version of grayscale with the baseline um, not as even, let's say so it can look even more handwritten. I don't know, I might ship it as an update to everyone who's purchased so far if it ends up working out. But um, for now, this is what we'll use and it can be actual text, you know, which is cool. Um, yeah, we're adding these, like this is a, a piece of watercolor sort of touch to it. Another little annotation, annotations on the uh, product imagery as well. It's sort of a different style of doing things with this line and um, some slight watercolor instead of the let me go along now uh, this is our normal way of doing product imagery nope oh i don't even have it in in this file because i was doing different stuff right from the outset but usually it's like just a a vector blob behind anyway um back to the page so yeah it talks about the main like benefits to a creator and then we've got a little section here with our creator sessions videos in it cta i think it's going to be good i think that um, I could have pushed it further, but I'm happy with how we're going. And I think when you make tweaks to a brand, it's good to sort of take, take baby steps with it. And like, you know, this will be a project where we try it out. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Just had a bit of a gap in between my first meeting of the day and the next ones, which are going to be nonstop for the next like three and a half hours. So I'm going to go grab some water, finish off some little like write up 
things that I needed to do and uh, then we'll get into another afternoon of meetings. This is honestly turning out to be kind of like my ideal day, ideal work day at least. I managed to do a workout this morning, um, I spent some time, like a little bit of strategy time to sort of warm up for the day and then did a few hours worth of design um, and now I'm into meetings to and talking to people and, and planning things, moving things ahead that way. I don't know, this feels like a good mix for me. If I could get this sort of stuff in every day, that would be great. Okay, I have no idea what the last clip is that you just saw because I forgot to end the vlog um, and I was just gathering the footage together to send it off to my editor and uh, realize that fact. And there's no pretending here because my hair is a completely different color and so I'm just chiming in to say that I forgot to end the vlog. Um, probably, I'm gonna guess though, what I did after the last clip you saw was have a bunch of meetings, because that's how my evenings have been going lately. I sort of like have meeting, meeting, meetings where I'm like, you know, on my computer until like uh, eight o'clock when I tear myself away to go and have dinner. It's not healthy, I know that. Um, but that's probably what happened. Anyway, thanks for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to watching it back because I can't remember what happened in it. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you had a good week and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.